Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. And what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. Welcome. Welcome. It is spring. Mr. Short Arms and Deep Pockets here. Live at Madhouse Studios. Um, I'm with... Two special guests, Lisa Palizzi and Bobby D hey, from the band Haunted Radio. Welcome. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Well, thanks for having us on today. Oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you on. <laughs> Lisa, when you first um, were growing up, when did you develop you wanted to be a singer? Uh, probably around 14. And then you started from there? And what was it like, just climbing the ranks? Um, well, I used to sing on and off a lot. But I did a, a, a talent show. And once I heard the audience, I was like so taken. I like wanted to feel that over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I loved it. And it just keeps going and, you know. And how does that feel with the crowd? And It's um, a feeling that... I wish everybody could feel it's to have people that you don't even know welcome you and it's so it's like um an overwhelming feeling you you feel like they love you but they don't even know you it's just a great feeling I mean that and when I'm singing and you say you're hitting like a you're going for a note and they really they start screaming and clapping it kind of like drives me more Right, it's and the, sometimes it could throw a singer off pitch because you get so excited that they're getting excited <laughs> <laughs> that you you know you kind of go off a little, but but then you recover from that and just yeah. do your thing. They're too busy screaming; they don't notice it. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they don't. How about you, Bobby? Well, what do you want to know, Frank? When did you want to be a bass player? I started doing this probably around fifteen, sixteen years old. Um, kind of took off from there. You know, I was playing with, uh, you know, garage bands, so on and so forth. And uh, actually, my first live gig, uh, I had to get a note from my mom. Because uh, it was in a, in a bar uh, that our, our guitarist was a little bit older than the rest of us. So he was at the drinking age at the time, was 18 years old, and I was like 16. So I had to get a note from my mom. And uh, my father drove me, and he sat and sat there and listened with the earplugs in the whole night, I'm sure, because, you know, he was a Frank Sinatra guy. And... Um, you know, he's kind of giving a pat on the back for, you know, for being able to do it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been ongoing ever since. I did take a short hiatus uh, for a little while. I uh, had some things going on. So, you know, we put the, the bass down for a little bit, but I'm back. Here I am. And her and I are partners in this, uh, this thing. Um, you know, Lisa and I have been working together now for about, what, about two and a half years now? Uh, thereabouts. And uh, it just gets better and better as it goes on and on. You know, I, I, I got I to gotta say, we just, uh, we just got done uh, recording a demo CD. Uh, should be oh, wow. actually, actually mixed down as being done on Monday. Um, thanks to Paul over at PMA Studios for that. Um, uh, that should be out probably in about a week or so. So I'll have copies for everybody. Once you show up at the show, come and get your copy. Free on us. That's great. For a limited time only. <laughs> <laughs> no explanation, obligation. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the leader, the singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've been really taking off, you know. Well, baby steps. But baby there. steps. But I, <laughs> I've been, I know you for quite a while now. Yeah. And we, when I first met you at Sergio's, I said, wow. And then. Yeah, back in 2010 that I met you. And then we just kept, you know, yeah. coming down to support you. And then, yep. you know, with Bobby, the band, you know, it all worked out. Yeah. That's, uh, 
we met at an open gym, her and I. I was sitting at the bar, and this little thing goes up on the stage and with this giant voice, spun me in my chair. Immediately, I was like, right from that point, I was like, I got to have her. I need her in my band. And here we are. We're still here. Yeah, when I first seen her at Sergio's, I was like, wow. You know, yeah. it was, and look where you are today. Yeah. yeah. Kudos. Yeah. <laughs> what other events do you have coming up? Um, well, we have tonight, uh, we're going to be at Good Friends. Um, in Mastic Beach, 625 Mastic Road. Uh, everybody come on down. Um, I know, I think you're going to make an appearance there tonight, aren't you? I believe you might be I making an know. appearance I there tonight. Or maybe, Myron, uh, Myron might be showing up, I think. Myron's, um, Myron's done. You know, the propeller hat, and that's not me. So, the, yeah, we'll be, we'll be there tonight at, uh, at Good Friends in, uh, in Mastic. Uh, Mastic Beach, actually, sorry. Um, May 18th, we'll be at a place called T.J. Halpin's over in Setauket. Uh, May 26th, we'll be at Ladigan's. Mm -hmm. June 1st, we'll be Richie B's Diamond Club. June 8th, we'll be M.J. Sullivan's in Mount Sinai. And there's more dates that I just can't remember off the top of my head, but you can check our website for that. It'll be haunted-radio.com. Uh, gives you all the uh, our tour dates and uh, information that you may need. Contact us from there. Um, you know, you get an immediate response from me uh, or Lisa, uh, and it's directly from one of us. It's not a publicist. It's, it's from one of the band members. Now, how did you come up with this band name, Haunted Radio? Actually. It's a scary thought. Actually, <laughs> my daughter, um, I have to give her credit for that. That was, uh, we were on our way, uh, her and I. I, had, I have a friend that owns uh, one of the uh, haunted bars on Long Island, and um, she wanted to see the place. And she wanted to take pictures, and also I called Brian, and um, it's uh, Katie's in Smithtown. And he said, yeah, sure, come on down. So we went down, and on the way there, the radio in my truck did something very weird. And she says, ooh, that's a haunted radio. And, and it, it just, I ran with it. And that's, that's a nice ring to yeah, it. It's kind of weird. It's a little unique, you know. Hoping to get a lot of gigs around Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> might have to come down with a costume. <laughs> now, what kind of music are you going to be singing, Lisa? Uh, a lot of classic rock. Um, there's a little Motown in there. Um, some current stuff, like Lady Gaga and stuff. A um, little of everything. Yeah, the, the, way I, the way I put it is it's like from a Lannister to ZZ Top. And everything in between. Yeah. A little bit of everything. It's good to switch it up. Yeah. like to uh, welcome on board, too. We have a uh, new drummer, Tony Russo. Solid guy, great guy. Also, uh, just joining us, uh, Tommy T-Bone on, on guitar. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a blast tonight. We are really going to have a good time tonight. So everybody come on down. And we'd like to see you all there. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Now, when did you get really serious with the Me singing? Me about singing? Um, well, around the time I met you is when I started. I kind of took a little hiatus myself, you know, with, you know, I raised my daughter a bit, right. you know, took yeah. time to be a mom. I mean, I never really gave up singing, but I really wasn't getting out singing. And um, I met you at one of Steve Mitchell's shows. Right. Holla at Steve Mitchell. <laughs> I love um, Steve. He actually got me my first gig at a restaurant in Nassau, and that's where you opened up for me. So, let's see, I was, I guess, early 30s. Now I'm, you know. Early 30s. <laughs> I shouldn't age like myself. <laughs> I'm not in my late 30s yet, but it's been the last few years. <laughs> How about you, Bobby? What? With the um, bass. Did you always play bass? Or yeah, I, um, I mean, I dabble with guitar a little bit, but I'm more so of a bass player. I mean, I got fat fingers, so, you know, working with the guitar, the, the, you know, the narrow strings is, I'm more suited for a bass. I have big hands, you know, big fingers. Uh, and I, I like to feel the rumble. You know what I mean? I want to be heard. I don't, I don't just want to be heard. I want to be felt. So when I play, I want you to feel it too. You know, so I want you to get the same feeling that I'm feeling. You know, I use, uh, I use some incredible uh, bass gear, incredible bass rigs. Uh, the stuff is, is absolutely top of the line. So, I mean, my tones are, are pretty much uh, 
you know, what you want to feel when you go out to yeah. Shula. It's, I'll shake the earth a little bit, you know. It comes from the heart. Ask my neighbors, you know, they'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine. <laughs> You know, music comes from the heart. You Absolutely. You've got to put your heart into it. Absolutely. And what we do is, you know, with, uh, we, we take, uh, you know, we, we're a cover band. Yeah, we do everything from Alanis to ZZ Top, as you said. Uh, but we kind of put our own little spin to it. You know, we, uh, I change things up a little bit. I'll, uh, you know, we, we do different, different things, uh, different effects, different, like I said, you've got to come see it to understand what I'm talking about. To We make it our own. You know, we give it our own little uh, zing, you know. That's good. That's good. I mean, as far as, you know, it being like um, from the heart, that's how I sing. I, I couldn't tell mm -hmm. you what key I'm singing in. I know nothing about notes. I don't know how to read music. I don't know how to write music. <laughs> that's so, where I come in. <laughs> I tell her what key she's in. <laughs> so, the duo. I, I listen. I, I try to find pretty much a relationship with a song. I got to feel it to give it a good delivery. And sometimes it takes a while. Like sometimes I'm given a song to learn and he knows. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to build a relationship with it. I got to feel it. And some, tong some songs I will take to it right away. Like um, there's a song we do called Paris. Okay. Before I, m I met him, I never heard the song. I never heard of that group before. And there's something with that song clicked where I just picked it up like that. And now it's like one of my favorites. <laughs> I could just say you're married to your music. Yep. Right? Like yep. I'm married to comedy. Yep. Well, actually, yeah. I put a joke on Facebook today. I put, um, you know, back when you were a kid, you know, you used to be like, oh, I love, you know, like, let's say I love pizza. And some people would say, oh, well, why don't you marry it? <laughs> so today I put on Facebook, I love singing, and I'm going to marry it, and I'm going to name my kids Harmony and Melody. <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's uh, a good line. Harmony and melody. That's it, kids. Yeah, we got a couple of thank yous too out to uh, you know shout outs for a couple of people. First of all, we'd like to thank you guys here at Madhouse Reality TV, yep. Tommy Marr, Frank Prince, Evan, all the good folks here at the studio for bringing us in today. It's uh, definitely appreciated. Uh, Paul over at PMA Studios. Got to thank uh, the folks over at Sapphire Blue Photography. Randy's doing a great job with us. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, quality work there. Um, you know. We just, you know, a couple of shout outs for those people that, uh, that helped us along the way. Um, absolutely, uh, definitely do appreciate them and uh, all they've done for us. So, uh, and my daughter, I have to say thank you to my daughter for putting up with this. You know, she's, uh, she's a drummer herself. So we sort of kind of help each other. Um, and she's, you know, she named the band. So thanks, Christina. <laughs> That's what it's about, helping each other today. That's why I put you on at first, because you didn't know me from a hole in the wall, and you gave me a shot. You're a nice now, guy. I'm giving you a shot. That's what it should be about today. Yeah. There's so much red tape and so much, oh, yeah. this guy's not good, he's this, he's that, but they don't look past that to yeah. see what they're about. Yeah. And it should be a wake-up call. All the politics. All the, politics. All the politics in the uh, in the industry, um, you know. There's I, I don't understand why everything has to be as difficult as it is, with uh, you know band members from other bands backstabbing each other constantly. There's there's a million places to play, you know. It, it's it's not, it's really not necessary, you know. It's there's so many places to play, and you know, these, these club owners want good bands in their clubs. That's absolute. You know, when, uh, in order to get there, you know, there's, there's a lot of handshaking and, uh, let's say, uh, ass kissing to be done. I don't know if I could say that on the air, but I just did. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you know, we, we, uh, we tend to, I try to handle a lot of the business uh, part of the band because, you know, Lisa has mentioned to me that when, when she goes to talk to a club owner, they don't take her seriously. So I, I go and handle the business. I'm a little bit more gruff. I'm a little bit more savvy to it. Um, you know, so, you know, being in the business for as long as I've been in there, you know, talking to these guys, I've made some friends along the way. Yeah, I've also made some enemies along the way, as, uh, as we all have, I'm sure. Um, you know, 
It's just it's just the nature of the beast, you know. It is what it is. Pardon my French, but it's a and terminology you, that you can't be uh, resisted to use anymore, you know. And you don't have a promoter? No, I uh, we promote our own. Uh, we have no manager. We have no promoter. Uh, we promote our own gigs. We manage ourselves, and um, you know it's it tends to work out better that way because anything that we do make, I put it right in my pocket. You know, it's uh, we don't have to pay a promoter. We don't have to pay management. You know, all the uh, all the publicity stuff as far as like business cards, flyers, and all that stuff. Uh, Sapphire Blue Photography takes care of my graphics. Uh, she does a great job with our posters. Uh, she does our photography for us. Um, business cards, I handle, you know, I handle it out of my own. Uh, there's, you know, there's a ton of stuff that's good that goes into this. Nobody really realizes the behind the scenes stuff that goes on. You know, the, the multiple trips that you have to take to a club to talk to a club owner. The, the multiple phone calls that have to be made. Everybody thinks that, okay, you make one phone call and that's it, you're playing. It's not the way it works. Not at all. You know? No. No. I don't know. So that's why. That's why I um, asked you that. <laughs> okay. What else you got for us? I got, <laughs> <laughs> we only have a half hour. I have three hours to go, you know. <laughs> but um, so where else have you been performing? Um, well, I've performed, um, like I said before, I, you know, getting with the band and stuff. I did some restaurants out in Nassau. I did, um, I did a... a Mickey B's Patch of Theater, the disco show, um, uh, last year. Um, you, you won that, didn't you? Actually, I won the Patch of Theater Pizzazz contest. Yeah, you won first place there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. I won the off-key tiki you know, factor. You did do that, too, also didn't you? Also on Patch Og. I'll have Patch Og. <laughs> Patch Og music seems pretty good yeah. lately. Oh, it's booming. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're going to go take a commercial break. And we'll be back in a few. Sit back and we'll be back. Old Spice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh no! You my kid, Kyle. I don't. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do. Power! For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. So what plans do you have for the future? Lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah, lots well, of stuff. Oh, with music. Um, oh, it definitely includes music. Oh, Traveling. That's my reason for living. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you're married to it. You know, we're, I mean, uh, we're in a process right now. I'm trying to set up some stuff down in, like, the uh, Atlantic City area, uh, oh, tri-state. You know, which I'm trying to get, you know, get us out there a little bit further. Um, like I said, without management, uh, it's a little difficult to make the, you know, to, to make the phone calls and to have to go back and forth to, let's say, Pennsylvania several times to talk to someone 
you know, it, it becomes a little bit of a burden financially. Um, so, you know, without, without a manager or promoter to handle that stuff uh, for us, um, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it, it is a little bit burdening. I, you know, I spend a lot of the time, a lot of my days, I spend like most of the day on the phone or with text messaging and emails back and forth, which, you know, when we're trying to get a show together and rehearsals together and, and you know, uh, learn new songs, learn new material, it's, uh, it, it takes away from that, you know, to, to have to spend all that time on the phone. Um, a lot of people don't understand that part. Uh, you know, it's, you spend three hours on the phone, that's three hours less I get to practice. You know, right. or three hours less that I get to peruse YouTube looking for a new tune, you know, um, or what have you, yeah, you know. Um, Lisa, she comes up with this stuff, some of this crazy stuff is off-the-wall music with some really crazy changes in it and, and expects me to learn it in about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I picture that. Not three minutes. <laughs> But where, you know, you're doing well now, you're getting out there. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like you said, we have several things uh, lined up. Um, you know, it's going to take us in through the summer. Uh, one of our bigger events this summer is uh, I'm waiting for a call back from uh, Terryville Fire Department, uh, which is a, they have an annual carnival um, at Terryville there every year. And um, yeah, that, would, that would be annual, right? Uh, yep. That would be. <laughs> we were supposed to play last year, and uh, unfortunately, we got rained out. So I got a phone call the other day from one of the representatives from the, uh, that, that handles the carnival, and they asked us if we were interested in playing. So I, I told them, absolutely. So, you know, we're bringing in, I'm going to be bringing in a pretty big show for that. Uh, once I get the, uh, the, you know, the confirmation call from them, we're going to be bringing in a, a, a huge show. Lighting, sound, the whole nine yards. They're going to hear us in Connecticut. So hopefully we get gigs from that, too. From Connecticut. <laughs> well, yeah, social media, that's a big part. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're on Facebook. You can check us out at facebook.com slash haunted radio. Uh, we also have a Reverb Nation page, uh, reverbnation.com, also slash haunted radio, and our website, haunted radio.com. Uh, you know, we do a lot of, I, I, every gig gets promoted to as many people as possible. This today, this interview today, is in retrospect for promotion of our gig tonight at Good Friends. Got to thank Georgia, too, over there at Good Friends for having us. Um, you know, she, she's very excited about us being there tonight, as we are about playing there tonight. Uh, so, you know, thanks to George over there at Good Friends. And, uh, you know, this is uh, going to be good tonight. The weather's beautiful. Nice day outside. Should bring in some people tonight. Hoping that uh, we pack that place. I want to blow the roof off it. That's I'm my sure intent. You will. Yep. I'm sure you will. You oh. people watching, get off Facebook and come down to see the band Haunted Radio tonight at Good Friends. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do what I say. And, and if your, fir the, your first drink is on Frank. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on but, but he's got short arms and deep pockets, don't you? Yes, I do have okay. short arms and deep pockets. <laughs> Welcome to the realm of show business. We're all broke. <laughs> not going to be opening up for the band, so my friends come down to see all of us together. Music and comedy does belong together. People separate that, but I think it really belongs together. Absolutely. I got we, that idea from a friend of ours. That uh, I think uh, I believe that she was on Madhouse TV not too long ago. Our, our uh, good friend Amber Ferrari, um, she's been an inspiration to me with everything uh, that she's done uh, over the last uh, several years. She really puts 125 percent into everything she does. She yes, is she incredible, does. an incredible she musician, is. an incredible friend, and what a sweetheart. You know, I think yeah. uh, I do believe that Tommy had her on. I think it's still airing too, isn't it? Yeah, I believe it is. So plug for Amber. <laughs> if you ever get to go see Joplin's Pearl, go out and get them. Check them out, too. They're an incredible uh, Janis Joplin band. You, yeah. If you shut your eyes, you would never know. You would swear to God you were at Woodstock. Mm -hmm. 
she inspired me, you know. She gets me out of my head, you know, with yeah. comedy and all that. But tonight's going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I'm trying to think something. Okay. Well, if it's not good, just drink more. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. That is good. <laughs> Neither one of us drink when we play. And I don't think Frank drinks either. I think, I think no, the last you know. time he ordered a drink was a Diet Coke with a piece of lemon in it. Diet Coke will kill you. Now I'm going to go for wine. There you go. Red wine. What kind of wine? Red. You want a new car? You want to go to Merlot. Florida? You want a mint coat? Uh, is that what kind of wine? <laughs> none of that wine. <laughs> Take it away. Why not? Merlot. Red. Yeah, so. What else you got for us? I know you got uh, some other stuff hiding up there in your head. Just can't think right now, right? I know you were on you were on with me early this morning, nine thirty this morning, waking me up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Telling them what songs to put on the set list and which ones not to put on the set list. <laughs> um, we have a couple of special guests that are going to coming down tonight too uh, to join us. Um, maybe a little bit, of, a couple of surprises for you tonight. Uh, I'm going to be pulling some stuff out of my pocket and I'm bringing in the magic hat. <laughs> it's going to be not short arms and deep pockets yeah. like me. <laughs> We're bringing in the magic hat. Go to a commercial break. Wrap it up? Okay. It's time to go. I want to thank Lisa and Bobby for being here. Thanks, Frank. Thanks to the folks over here at Madhouse Reality TV for having us on today. And uh, we'll see you all tonight. We better see you all tonight. Check us out at haunted-radio.com. On Facebook, we're at. You can contact us from there. And uh, thanks for having us. Thank you. And I'll see you all next week, same time. Thank you for watching. Ugh.